Good evening everyone. Welcome back to Bell's Hoya. Tonight I just want to show um I decided to show some of my flowers as well as um I think I want to show some of the um foliage of the Hoyas tonight. Uh, I'll be showing some of the sunstress Hoyas um of my collection. Uh, so maybe just to start off with um some of my Hoya buds that I've shown the other day, they have grown bigger and uh, I think this is a very good um, shot of my Elmery which uh, the other day I didn't really you know manage to uh, give a good, uh, you know it wasn't a good lighting and um, now I think I found a, a good place to take a nice video so uh, let's just, just see how the flowers look now it's um, almost all fully open and it's uh, you can see it's very furry and it's a um, very nice red color and um can see Coselina is still open still very cute and let's go on to show the sun stress leaves uh, I believe I've shown my cut CI before. So very beautiful sun stress leaves. Very tiny and cute. And I have my Hoya Kaudalta Sumashwa. Look at the leaves, the rustic look of the foliage. Uh, it feels very hard, like cardboard. And um, every leaf is different. You can see it's very rustic looking. Yeah, with um, some specks. And then moving on, this one is Tomatenesis. Uh, very, very uh, beautifully sun stress. Every leaf, um, you know, is very, very unique. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. And uh, we have my Hoya Philippines. The new leaves are very, very beautifully raked in sun stress. And moving on, this one is my new leaf of my Hoya uh, Sulawesiana. You can see the, the mature leaves are dark green and very long, long elongated. And the new leaves come out deep red. Moving forward, we have a Hoya Benchai. It's like a deep red salmon color. And uh, we have this one is my uh, Hoya Haipong. You can see the new leaves have a red edge at the rims. And um, what else do we have? Ah, okay, we have this one. This one is a Hoya. Um, uh, sorry, what, what is this? Uh, oh, it slips my mind. This one is a Hoya. Uh, oh, Wamane. The new leaves are again um, very deep, deep, uh, proper, kind of dark red in color. And once it matures, it becomes dark green. And of course, uh, how can we not talk about Hoya Sunrise? With beautiful sun stressed leaves. I'm just gonna look at them. Look at this. Ooh, this is a flower. 
okay Hoya sun sunrise room with um, a lot of blooms mm -hmm. sunrise and uh, we have um, Hoya macrophylla abo so the leaves are very beautiful as well and um, you can see the edge is uh, pink and I have some that are like overly sun stressed you can see from here some sunburnt because uh, I really have a lot of um, very strong sunlight uh, recently uh, this is right in the middle of July and uh, the sun is very very hot we are having like uh, uh, 35 degrees Celsius in the day and what else do we have? I think uh, moving on to, ah, we have my favorite uh, this one is uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I just can't remember the name suddenly ah yes Hoya Wundulata Wundulata look at the leaves so beautiful can you see that it's um, pink speckled it's all you know pink color and the ruffled edges look at that oh my goodness and um, that one is the new leaf this is the new leaf Yeah, and the uh, last one, last one, moving on, this is uh, Hoya Kaudao Tao Sumatra Big Leaf. Sun's dress. And that's it guys. I think um, I'm just going to show you this for today. Hope you enjoyed the short video. Good night.